Good evening, everybody. Today we're back for another deep dive into Buckethead's Pike album series with Pike 162 Four Forms. So let's begin. Woo! Released August 8, 2015, Pike 162 was the third of eight albums to be released that month alone in what was a crazy year for Pike album releases. At almost 35 minutes in length, it's the second longest release in the history of the Pike album series, behind Pike number 3, Three Foot Clearance. The album kicks off with the 13 and a half minute slow burner, Midnight Sun. The guitar tone is fantastic and the solo in is excellent. Overall, an enjoyable and easily accessible listen for all music lovers. Great stuff. The title track Four Forms is next and at just over 6 minutes it's the album's second longest track. The song really kicks into gear around one and a half minutes in with a gloriously futuristic cyberpunk vibe. This excellent use of the kill switch and phase guitar and overall a thoroughly enjoyable song. Next up, track 3, Collapse Surface. Great pacing, excellent drums that really complement the song, and some super speed shred guitar thrown in for good measure. Another solid track. Though not as strong as the previous tracks, track 4, Open Warp, is another good addition to the album. The drums are again top notch and even though it's not one of the album's more memorable tracks, it still packs a decent punch. Track 5, Dripping Castle comes next, and like track 2, Four Forms, it has the futuristic cyberpunk feel, it's an instant favourite, a song that's easy to remember in your head, and one you can listen to multiple times without it getting old. Fantastic. Track 6, Ricochet Laser is the album's shortest track at 2 minutes in length, but doesn't waste any time in getting to the point. There's some excellent kill switchery mid-song, which is followed by some bass synth growls to end the track. For me, it's the album's weakest song and doesn't quite hit the mark. Final track, Thing From The Sea, launches right into a guitar shred assault and continues with its frantic pace for the song's two and a half minute duration. It does feel slightly out of place compared to the rest of the album, but if you like Buckethead's super shred and tap in licks, you'll enjoy this one. Pike 
162 is an enjoyable listen, especially when exploring its futuristic cyberpunk themes. Midnight Sun, Four Forms and Dripping Castle are the clear standout tracks, with the remaining songs being decent enough, but not ones that will leave a lasting impression. After adding up the rating I gave for each track, it came to a respectable 67%, which I categorize as good. And you can find my individual song ratings and breakdown on our website, natanet.com. So, what's your rating for Pipe 162? To work out what percentage you give the album, rate each song out of 5 stars, add up your total, and divide it by the total score possible, which for Pipe 162 is 35. Then, times it by 100. Buckethead goes cyberpunk, hell yeah.